Today we will be teaching you how to conduct a proper PMCS. PMCS stands for Preventative Maintenance Checks and Services. The purpose of the PMCS table is to provide a systematic method of inspections and servicing of equipment. In this way, small defects can be detected early and corrected before they become major problems causing equipment failure. Visually check underneath vehicle for any evidence of fluid leakage. Vehicle is not mission capable if any brake fluid leaks, class three leaks of oil, fuel, or coolant. Visually check front and left side of vehicle for obvious damage that would impair operation. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any damage that prevents operation. Check left side tires. Warning, operating a vehicle with a tire in an underinflated condition or with a questionable defect may lead to premature tire failure and may cause equipment damage and injury or death to personnel. Visually check tires for underinflation and defects. Vehicle is not mission capable if tire is missing, deflated, or unserviceable. Check rear exterior. Note, if leakage is detected, further investigation is needed to determine location and cause of leak. Visually check underneath vehicle for evidence of fluid leakage. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any brake fluid leaks, class three leaks of oil, fuel, or coolant. Visually check rear vehicle for obvious damage that would impair operation. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any damage that prevents operation. Inspect bumper supports for cracks before towing trailer. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any damage that prevents operation. Check right front side exterior. Note, if leakage is detected, further investigation is needed to determine location and cause of leak. Visually check underneath vehicle for evidence of fluid leakage. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any brake fluid leaks, class three leaks of oil, fuel, or coolant. Visually check front and right side of vehicle for obvious damage that would impair operation. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any damage that prevents operation. Check right side tires. Warning. Operating a vehicle with a tire in an underinflated condition or with a questionable defect may lead to premature tire failure and may cause equipment damage or injury to personnel. Visually check tires for underinflation and defects. Vehicle is not mission capable if the tire is missing, deflated, or unserviceable. Check front. 
Note, if leakage is detected, investigation is needed to determine location and cause of leak. We check front of vehicle for obvious damage that would impair operation. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any damage that prevents operation. Visually check underneath vehicle for evidence of fluid leakage. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any brake fluid leaks, class three leaks of oil, fuel, or coolant. Check power steering reservoir. Caution, do not permit dirt, dust, or grit to enter power steering reservoir. Damage to power steering system will result in power steering fluid becoming contaminated. Do not overfill power steering reservoir. Damage to power steering system will result. Check seat and seat belts. Note, a vehicle operation with inoperative seatbelts may violate AR 385-10. Check all seatbelts including troop seat safety strap for security, damage, and proper operation. Vehicle is not mission capable if seatbelts inoperable, buckles are clasped damaged, retractor damaged, or straps frayed. Check fire extinguisher. Check for missing or damaged fire extinguisher. Vehicle is not mission capable if fire extinguisher is missing or damaged. Check gauge for proper pressure of about 150 PSI. Check for damaged or missing seal. Vehicle is not mission capable if fire extinguisher is missing or damaged. Check instrument panel. Warning, if gauges, instruments, or instrument lights are inoperable or not within ranges described in these checks, immediately shut off engine and notify your su supervisor or unit maintenance personnel. Continued operation of vehicle may result in injury to personnel or damage to equipment. Note, if engine is warm, wait to start light may not come on. During cranking or after starting, the light might go on and off a few times. Check wait to start light and brake warning light. Turn rotary switch to run. Wait to start and brake warning light should come on. Start engine and check following. Vehicle is not mission capable if engine will not start. Check engine oil pressure gauge. Vehicle is not mission capable if engine oil pressure is less than 10 PSI. Check voltmeter. Vehicle is not mission capable if voltmeter needle stays in yellow or red range. Check air restriction gauge. Vehicle is not mission capable if air restriction indicator reaches red zone. Brake warning light should go off when handbrake is released. Vehicle is not mission capable if brake warning light stays on after handbrake is released or comes on while driving. Check fuel gauge. Check coolant temperature gauge. Vehicle is not mission capable 
if coolant temperature gauge inoperative or reads greater than 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool. Check lights. Caution, never set rotary switch to run to check lights. This drains batteries and can burn out glow plugs and control box. No. Vehicle operation with damaged or inoperable headlights may violate AR 385-10. Check for presence and operation of service drive, turn signal, blackout marker, marker, blackout drive, and side marker light. Check operation of tail slash stop lights, push down brake pedal approximately one fourth of an inch tail slash stop lights should come on. Check controls and indicators. Monitor all gauges. Vehicle is not mission capable if engine oil pressure gauge reads less than approximately 25 PSI under normal driving conditions or less than 10 PSI at idle. Coolant temperature gauge reads greater than 240 degrees Fahrenheit, air restriction gauge indicates restriction in air cleaner, voltmeter indicates loss of voltage. Check speedometer operation. Vehicle is not mission capable, the speedometer not operational. Check brakes for pulling or grabbing. Vehicle is not mission capable if brakes pull or grab. Be alert for excessive sway leaning to one side or unstable handling. Check steering response for unusual free play, binding, or shimming. Vehicle is not mission capable if handling is unstable, turning is difficult, unusual free play, binding, or shimmy detected. Check accelerator pedal. Check response to accelerator, accelerator feed. Check for sticking or binding pedal. Vehicle is not mission capable if pedal sticking or binding. Be alert for unusual noises or vibration from engine, transmission, transfer case, differentials, propeller shafts, especially under load, axle shafts, or wheels. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is unusual noise or vibration detected. Check transmission for proper operation. Vehicle is not mission capable if transmission slips or will not shift. Check horn. Note, vehicle operation with inoperative horn may violate AR 385-10. Check windshield and wipers. Note, vehicle operation with damaged windshield may violate AR 385-10. Check windshield for damage that would impair operator's vision. Vehicle is not mission capable if windshield is cracked, broken, or discolored, cloudy, sufficiently to impair operator's vision. No, vehicle operation with inoperative wipers may violate AR 385-10. Check seat and seat belts. No, a vehicle operation with inoperative seat belts may violate AR 385-10. Check all seat belts, including troop seat safety strap for security, damage, and proper operation. Vehicle is not mission capable if seat belts inoperable, buckles are class damaged, retractor damaged, or straps frayed.
Check fire extinguisher. Check for missing or damaged fire extinguisher. Vehicle is not mission capable if fire extinguisher is missing or damaged. Check gauge for proper pressure of about 150 PSI. Check for damaged or missing seal. Left front side exterior. Note, if leakage is detected, further investigation is needed to determine location and cause of leak. Visually check underneath vehicle for evidence of fluid leakage. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any brake fluid leaks, class three leaks of oil, fuel, or coolant. Visually check half shaft, CV boots, and ball joint boots for rips, tears, or cuts. Inspect frame cross member and underbody support for missing hardware, cracks, bends, and brakes. Notify field maintenance if rust is present, but base metal is sound. Vehicle is not mission capable if cross members or underbody support are missing any hardware, are cracked, broken, or bent, or rusted through condition is present that would affect vehicle operation. Check right side tires. Warning, operating a vehicle with a tire in an underinflated condition or with a questionable defect may lead to premature tire failure. Failure to comply may result in equipment damage and injury or death to personnel. Visually check tires for underinflation, cuts, gouges, cracks, or bulges. Remove all penetrating objects. The vehicle is not mission capable if tire is deflated or otherwise unserviceable. Check mirror for defects, cracks, and serviceability. Check right front side exterior. Note, if leakage is detected, further investigation is needed to determine location and cause of leak. Visually check underneath vehicle for evidence of fluid leakage. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any brake fluid leaks, class three leaks of oil, fuel, or coolant. Visually check half, half shaft, CV boots, and ball joint boots for rips, tears, or cuts. Inspect frame cross member and underbody supports for missing hardware, cracks, bends, and brakes. Notify field maintenance if rust is present, but base metal is sound. Vehicle is not mission capable if cross members or underbody support are missing any hardware, are cracked, broken, or bent, or rusted through condition is present that would affect vehicle operation. check front and right side of vehicle for obvious damage that would impair operation. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any damage. Check rear exterior. Note, if leakage is detected, further investigation is needed to determine location and cause of leak. Visually check underneath vehicle for evidence of fluid leakage. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any brake fluid leaks, class three leaks of oil, fuel, or coolant. Visually check half shaft CV boots and ball joint boots for rips, tears, or cuts. Inspect 
frame cross members and underbody support for missing hardware, cracks, bends, and brakes. Notify field maintenance if rust is present, but base metal is sound. Vehicle is not mission capable if cross members or underbody support are missing any hardware, a crack, broken, or bent, or rusted through condition is present that would affect vehicle operation. Inspect bumper or cross member and inner braces in area around towing pintle for cracks or brakes. Vehicle is not mission capable if bumper, cross member, or inner brace is cracked or broken. Check engine oil. Do not Caution, do not permit dirt, dust, or grit to enter engine oil dipstick tube. Internal engine damage will result if engine oil becomes contaminated. Do not overfill engine crankcase. Damage to engine will result. Check engine oil level. Level should be between add and full. If level is below add, add oil to bring level between add and full marks. Vehicles not mission capable if oil appears milky. Check power steering lines and fittings. Caution, notify field maintenance if power steering system has class three leak. Loss of power assist could occur if this condition exists. Check power steering lines and fittings for leaks. Vehicle is not mission capable if there are any class three leakage. Check cooling system. Inspect radiator hose, hoses for leakage. Vehicle is not mission capable if there are any class three leakage. Check master cylinder. Visually check master cylinder lines for leaks and security of cover. Vehicle is not mission capable if there is any leak or cover missing.